G'day guys, welcome back. I bought myself a big snail. <laughs> it's the Let's Resin Snail. So I'm going to play with that today. It's quite a big mould. I'm going to use my Platinum River Table Resin because I can pour it quite deep. Uh, and uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully it'll be okay. Uh, now I was thinking about what I could put in there because I didn't want to just put you know plain resin and I had these left over from when I was doing my you know the floating candles with the water beads and the pearls and things like that I had the cream and this sort of bronzy goldy color left and I thought I'll pick out the small ones so I did because um, it's got four different sizes so I picked out the small ones from each of those and I've got the two different sizes left and the two different colors so I thought Let's just put them in <laughs> and we'll just see what happens. So I'm just going to put them in. There's this little flap here. Well, it comes up to here and then there's this, this bit here is the, you know, the slippery thing that the, sl the snail slides around on. So I'm going to pop those in there. And then I was thinking, because it's got antenna, they're, they're quite deep down here though. And I was trying to get one of these to go down like the shaft into the little hole at the bottom and like it would fit in the hole at the bottom but it wouldn't actually fit through that long tube so I've come up with a different idea I've got these little pink little tiny pink balls and I thought oh I might try those but for now I'm just gonna push in what I can it's not actually it's not like level it's this bit up here comes up higher than this bit so even though it's part of the shell, I don't think I'm going to put, I'll be able to put balls in there unless I wait until it's like semi-set, if the resin's like semi-set and then I can like, you know, push them up the sides a little bit, if you know what I mean. It's, yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit tricky. I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to be able to do that, but I'll keep a few and I'll see if I can like, yeah, as the resin's thickening, I'll see if I can just push it up the side there all right so I'll keep a few that's for later doesn't matter if they pile up I guess in the middle because you're only going to see the outside so I guess I can have it a little bit higher in the middle I think so that'll be filled up with the clear clear resin um, now these oh, little tiny little tiny pink balls and I thought I like the, the colour with the, like the coppery gold and the pearl and like the pink. And then I've got a really pale pink that I'm going to dust along the inside there for later. But I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of these, I, have, I probably should have done that first. Um, I'm going to put some of those down the antenna. Don't ask me how. I, I have no idea how I'm going to do that. Um, yeah. I, I really don't know, like they won't fit down a syringe, um, mm, might just have to do a little tiny spoon, um, probably a, actually you know what would work, you know what would work, um, like my piping bag, because it's, it's down there, um, it's, they're down right down there so anyway um I don't know let's let's just try I probably shouldn't have put the big balls in first <laughs> but I was too excited I'm just gonna I'll just kind of pour them in and then the ones that escape I don't know, I don't know you probably can't see but I'm just gonna pour them in there I was planning on just having them like in in the bottom but like in the little ball at the end, but I don't think I'm going to be that clever. I think, I think they're just going to, I'm just going to fill the whole antenna with them because I can't see like where the little ball is. I don't know if I've just got them in the ball or whether they're, you know, halfway up the antenna. And if you don't do it perfectly, you know, if one's halfway up the antenna and one's a third up the antenna or something, it's going to look weird. So we'll just, we'll just fill them. Okay. 
they are small enough balls that hopefully they will, you know, hopefully <laughs> fill up that whole cavity. When I'm done, I'll bring the camera down and, and show you inside there, but I think that's, that's enough. I'm hoping they're not all going to kind of float when I put the resin on. All right, let's go and have a look and I'll show you what I mean. Hopefully we can see in there. Come on, focus, focus, focus. It doesn't know what to focus on. Okay, that's kind of... Sorry, I'm trying to focus. But it won't move. See, it's gone down both sides, and then I'll just get some um, masking tape and um, pick up those ones that are scattered in the middle. That's the gap there that I was telling you about. So once the resin's like half cured, I'll just try and poke some in there. All right, I'm gonna get some masking tape and clean that little area up in there. Uh, mix up my resin and then I'll be back. I've mixed up my resin and I've put it into some warm water. It's just hot tap water out of my tap. It's not all that hot really. Um, just to make it as thin as possible so that the bubbles can come up. I didn't know how much to mix. I've done, um, what did I do? 100 grams of A, 43 grams of B. So 143 grams. Now, I think, I think what I'll do is I'll just draw up a little bit of resin in my syringe and I will try and poke it down there into those antenna. The problem is there's so many little balls in there, like the resin's going to take a long time to sort of drip through. So look, I'm probably going to get air pockets in there, but we'll just, we'll see, hey, we'll see. I don't know how else to get it in there. <laughs> oh gosh. All right, here we go. I'm just going to fold that back. Try not to squirt it too much. I think it's just going to Oh mm, gosh, see now it's, it's, I know you can't really see, but it's kind of sitting on top, making a puddle on top. Maybe I should have put the resin in first. Anyway, I'll, I'll just let it, I'll just, I'll leave that in there. I'll um, let it take its time and see if it'll drip through all those little beads. I guess if it was just plain water it would run through, but you know, resin's... It is a little bit thicker. I just don't know if it will run down there. Maybe I should try and do that first before I fill up the rest of it. There's a bubble come out. And you can't really squeeze it because it's full of little balls. Oh gosh, you guys, I I don't know if this is going to work. I do make things hard for myself, don't I? I do. Now you could just fill it up with, I could have just filled it up with pink resin. Like, seriously, I could have, couldn't I? But no, I had to be difficult. There are little bubbles coming up, so I'm assuming the resin is going down there. Oh, what about if I poke it with that? Yeah, yeah, that will that'll should work. That's, that's Let's poke. <laughs> Let's poke. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's working. Look, the resin's coming. The resin's going down and bubbles are coming up. Okay, so that's a good thing. Bubbles are coming up. Resin going down. Yes, yeah, see, that where there's a will, there's a way. You stay where you are, little balls. Okay, let's put a little bit more down there. And then any that kind of overflows from the antenna, I'll, I'll just wipe up with a baby wipe because I don't want clear resin in there. Let's give it another poke. Kind of goes off to the side like that. 
you can feel with the toothpick where it's going. It's got to be really careful, you don't want to damage your mould. Okay, I'm still getting some bubbles up, so I will leave that for a minute. It's very shiny. I keep thinking I've got resin on there, but it's just shiny. Okay. Ooh. I don't know whether I should pour resin in there now or whether I should wait until I've done this. I'm just going to poke a little bit more and then I'll come back to you, save you waiting and being bored. All right, so I'm going to get my little baby wipe and I'm just going to kind of clean up between those two antenna. Get that resin off because the resin kind of ran between the antenna were there and there and it kind of ran between it. So I'm just cleaning that off where the resin's overflowed. If you don't get it all off at the moment that, that's okay because when the resin sets you can very very carefully like try and get it off but the only thing is you might like dislodge the other resin that's gone in there um, and then when you pour your next layer of resin on um, the color will drip through all right let's move on let's move on now I've disrupted all my little balls that I had neatly placed. Gosh! Okay, so I think the antenna, I think they're as, well, they're as good as I can get. All right, so let's get this resin out of its water bath. Dry its little bottom, make sure there's no bubbles. It's really, really, really clear. Now the other thing I like to do is pour onto like a stick so it, it kind of runs down a little bit better rather than just sort of running down and making bubbles. I'm probably going to have a million bubbles in this but like you don't know until you've tried do you? Is that it? Because I'm looking down there it looks as if it's full down there. I guess the good thing about it, you can squeeze it. <laughs> I had all these balls placed just where I wanted them, but now they've all, all moved. But I do want to get them sort of up here a little bit. So there's quite a few bubbles in there I can see coming up, which is to be expected, but hopefully they will come to the surface. I'll just keep giving it a bit of a, a pinch, pinch its bum. A bit of a drop and see if that helps. But yeah, there's nothing, I mean, there's nothing I can do about it if there's bubbles. There are, there are there going to be bubbles or there's going to be no bubbles or some bubbles. I can't, I can't do anything about it. I can't see what's going in on down there. Um, look what I've got. Look what I've got. I thought I'd try this. It's, um, it's a mini one of these. <laughs> look at it. This one's got a cord and you've got to plug it in and it's huge, you know. But um, I thought, because I, you know, I don't want to use an open flame like that. Um, but this, this is just a heat gun. So it doesn't have a flame. So you turn it on like that and then you do that and um, you get heat. So look, it's popping bubbles, but there's no flame. It's only a little dude. It's not very strong, but it is um, popping those surface bubbles up there, and then you turn it off like that. But the, the top's going to be really hot, so don't put it down on anything that's going to melt or catch fire. Okay, put it over there. All right. So um, 
Look, that's all I'm going to do for now. I'll come back and I'll, I'll give it a bit of a, a squish and move the balls a little, move them around a little bit. I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of this river table resin. Probably, ugh, I probably only used half of it. But I was assuming it was going to come like right up here, but it's it's not. Um, I actually may, I may just tip it, you know, like I might, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to put something under here and I'm going to tip that so that I can get, let's do that. Let's do that. I've got some sticks. We'll see how some pop sticks. Might need more. I can use my masking tape if I want to put it up a little bit higher. I'm not sure if that's going to be too high. Because I want it to come down here. And that was the only way I could think of to increase the height of the resin up to here because it's shallower here. It's not resin. Okay, that's a bit too high. I'm going to have to do something in between of those two. How about my puffy mold? My puffy hearts. How about that? Come to the rescue. Okay, I will keep playing with it just for a little while. You know, it's, it's tricky when you get a mould for the first time, a new mould, and you think, oh, God, what do I do with it? What do I do with it? So there's the little antenna in there. A little pink antenna, and then I could probably fit a little bit more resin in here. But see on the side there, it still hasn't got any so as the resin cures I'm going to push some of those over to the side um, so it fills in that area but it kind of looks level now probably put a little bit more in I'm sorry I'm taking so long but you know it's how we learn isn't it so I'm gonna put a little bit more in I'm gonna see if I can shove those little balls over that way a little bit um, and then once it's once it's cured I'll come back and uh, we'll dust the rest of it with the gorgeous pale bad pink so I will see you tomorrow so it's the next day and this is how it sat overnight so it's set now because I wanted this to be like as full as possible into the bottom of that shell so I tipped it <laughs> so it's been up there like that and then I wanted it to tip that way as well so yeah, I, I just waited in to see what the resin was going to do, where it was going to flow, and then I could prop it up. So let's get you back on the tripod, and we will start dusting. Right, so move all this stuff away. Very handy, <laughs> these were, to build up the sides a bit. Okay. Now you've got to be careful that you don't dislodge any of that, otherwise the other resin will run down the sides. So here we go. Now this... I've got lots of sort of pale pretty pinks. This one's called Ice Pink. It's from Pixie Dust Pigments. Now, it's going to be a little bit tricky, isn't it? Um, I would have probably have done like a creamy colour to match these, but I wanted to put the little pink pearls into, you know, into the antenna. So, I think if you just did like, well, I don't think I had like pearl beads had like clear beads but you wouldn't even see that would you if you put clear in now this is a very very pale pale pink it's just giving a beautiful little shimmer and that's all I want didn't want anything too dark make sure I get under this little this little flap there now, those of you that haven't seen this mold like this is my first time using it so it's a little flap under here so let's get under there I don't know how easy it is going to be to get in there, but I can pick it up, I guess. But yeah, just being careful not to dislodge anything. Get under there. 
I'm using my bigger brush because it's a bigger piece. I'll go around here just in case you're going to see some of that, hey? Because there's a little gap just in there, so we best get some colour in there as well. So any bits of mould, naked mould, that are around, we just dust them. Hey, how's that sound? So they're not naked anymore. Oh, I'm loving that colour. All right, now, you get out of the way so I don't knock you over. Under here, in there, and in here, I'm just going to swirl around as much as possible, getting in there. And the sides. Get some more mica. Now I'm going to need to get on the other side of this as well. It's a bit tricky when you have to get sort of the underside of something. So you can't really get in there all that well, really. But I guess if you miss any, it's going to be on the underside, like <laughs> the snail's chin, I guess. So if you can't get in there properly, if you have to miss a section, that's probably the best section to miss, I think. But I, what's this bit here? I'll try and get in there. I don't know what that is, but I'll try and get in there as well. I think that's it. I think I've got everywhere. everywhere. Right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to mix up some more resin. Um, I am going to use my 360 plus and I'm going to do two layers. Um, it's too deep to do one layer, but I'm just going to take this over to the bin and blow and just get the excess out into the rubbish bin. All done. Can you see that little shimmer there? It's just a little shimmer. All right. Uh, I will go and mix up my resin. Why aren't we zoomed? Why aren't we zoomed? Mix up my resin. can't really see into the screen very well because it's just black. <laughs> I can't really see. All right, I'll be back in a sec. I'll go mix my resin. Now, I've probably got way too much resin. <laughs> um, yeah, because I was going to do a little bit less and I thought, oh, it might be too less. So, um, like I said, I want to do half. Wait, I've got 100 grams of A, 43 grams of B. And I'm going to use the same colour. So let's do a... I probably need two of these scoops. I've got some left over. I'll, I can do a puffy heart pendant, can't I? They're always good to do with some leftover resin. It is much easier to put the mica in first and then pour the resin in over the top, but if you've already, you know, mixed it like this, then obviously you've got to put it back in the same cup. Now, while I'm stirring, does anybody any beginners maybe, would anyone like me to do a video on how to mix resin? I know it seems like a simple thing, but so many people struggle with it. You know, there's a two to one resin, there's a one to one resin. They're the most popular. There are three to ones and five to ones and all that, but I've never used them. Um, and I go by weight, but I can show you how I work out and you know why I go by weight. So if anyone's interested in that video let me know down in the comments and I will endeavor to get that done for you this looks quite dark doesn't it <laughs> oh dear anyway you're only going to basically see what's on the outside of the um, the mold but it does look that <laughs> does look much darker all right here we go now it's easy we're just going to pour it in Ooh, the head's filling up fast, isn't it? So basically, I just want to get kind of that much done. I don't want to fill it up all the way because it's not a deep pour resin and it will flash cure. And I don't want to risk it, um, you know, fusing to my mold. All right, so I've still got some left. Right, so I probably needed half that. So yeah, I was going to do half. And I thought, that's not going to be much. It's not going to be enough because it's quite a deep mould. Right, let's just move that off to the side for a minute. 
Okay, here we go. Get our little puffy heart out. Oh, still can't see it all. Hey, how's that? All right, now we make sure that's all stirred in. Um, I think I might put a little bit of glitter in that. Let me go and find some glitter. This seems like a nice color and it's a fine glitter. I don't want too much because it's heavy, you know, and it'll kind of fall through. So we'll just dip in and then we'll see how that goes. Just, just want an extra little shimmer, really. But the glitter, yeah, does fall to the other side where it's deepest and then you get like a darker little area just in the middle where the, the glitter's all fallen. Mm, maybe a touch more more not too much all right I think it's one of the Larissi glitters I I did go crazy on their website <laughs> about a year ago and bought up heaps of heaps of glitters all right here we go just pouring in any little mold will do like you know keep it handy close by if you've got leftover resins and um, yeah you can make little hearts you can make little turtles pendants, whatever you want to do, just with your leftovers. Make sure these two are clean. Okay, looks like we're going to get all four done, hey? So this, because it's quite deep, it probably will kind of flash cure a little bit. <laughs> I don't know if you can flash cure a little bit or not. It either flash cures or it doesn't, does it? But anyway, I think in about two hours... Um, I'll be able to come back and do the next layer. Whoops, you're a bit full. You're a bit full. I might take a little bit out. So, there we go. It's pretty empty there. Um, so, yeah, I will be back as always. And uh, we'll do the next layer then. So, it's been a few hours. Uh, this here is set, the deepest part. But um, down here is still soft because it's not as deep. I've just got mica powder on it. <laughs> so um, doesn't it look different? Like it looks much pinker there. It's kind of, I don't know whether it's reflection of the balls underneath, but that one looks different too. And it's exactly the same. I don't know. It's like it's setting a different color or something. It's, it's weird. But anyway, um, I've got the 360 plus again and I've made 50 grams of A. No, I didn't. I'm lying. 75 grams of A <laughs> and 32 grams of B, which is probably what I should have done the first time. So, But anyway, we'll see if this is too much again. Pour that on. And now I'm going to actually let it just fill up this time. Hopefully I've got close to the right amount. But I think two lots of the... 75 and 32 would have been good because I probably put too much in on the first time around. Well, there we go. It does look much pinker. It's starting to pull in from the edges there. Anyway, that's that's enough. I, I'll find something to do with that. Oh, look, I can, do, I can do some more puffies, can't I? Let's move that out of the way. I'll just do another couple of puffies. Um, so, <laughs> you guys are going to be getting pink puffy hearts for a while. Uh, oh, I've got tape stuck to me. I'm just going to do these two where you can still see. I'm not going to put any glitter in them. I'm just going to use the pink. And um, we'll see how many I can get. Probably get two. Another two. So that's it. Um, what's the time? It's only 2 p.m. So I'm hoping that I can unmold this later on today because I don't want to wait till tomorrow. This, you know, it'll probably take six, six to eight hours um, for the top to cure. So, yay, I'll be back soon. Right, look, it's set. 
still feels warm. <laughs> it's obviously kind of flash cured a bit. I hope it hasn't like fused. That's the only thing I'm, I'm hoping, cross fingers, that it hasn't like all fused and ruined my mold. Now this last one, they actually did change color. Like they started really pink and now they've got more of an apricot, which is kind of nice, really. It's kind of nice because it's the color of my balls. Um, so these ones, they're set here where the deep bit is, but on the little thin bits there, they're not set quite yet. So we'll move that out of the way, but these ones should be ready to unmold. I'll just loosen those. It's always this little bit here because it's only thin. It usually takes a bit longer. Oh, look. Wow, that's so pretty. <laughs> We're concentrating on the puffy hearts, not the snail. This one's a little bit soft still. Did I do that one later? Oh gosh, I can't even remember now. I don't think so. Didn't I do them all? No, I think I did them all at the same time. I did. No, they're all... Probably could have done with another hour. They're really sweet, you guys. So, four of you lucky people will be getting these <laughs> as gifts with your orders for the molds. Okay, here we go. They are really sweet. All right, I'm going to move those out of the way for now. And I will start unmolding this. And then when I get to the close to, you know, flipping it over, I'm going to go and get my steps so that I can stand on it. Oh, look. That must be for pulling down. Oh, okay, it's coming off. Yay! I was so worried that I was going to fuse it. Oh, it's moving, it's moving. I'm moving the whole table. Okay, now, how do I even do this? I'm not going to spray in there because I think that the spray sometimes oh, kind of leaves a residue on the surface of the resin. Maybe, maybe I can push. Be like giving birth. <laughs> I'm not getting anywhere. <laughs> oh, okay. I just, I just don't know how to do this. Don't peek. Don't peek. <laughs> don't look. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. <laughs> I'm not getting anywhere. Oh. If I could push it up against my body, and look, I know you can't see, but I need to like, oh gosh, I give up, <laughs> I can't do it, oh, all right, there's got to be an easier way, because it's quite, like, look, it's, it's like, right down in there, how are you supposed to do this, you guys, I feel as if I'm going to, break something. Hang on, I'm going to go over there and put it up against my body so I can actually really pull at it and I'll be back. I promise I won't turn it over. I just heard a snap. I was holding it on my body and like I was trying to pull this off and, and I, heard a, I heard a snap. I think I've broken one of the... I still can't do it. There you go, there's my snail. <laughs> um, I think I've snapped it but look I'll be able to glue it back on, but I just heard this crack. I'm going to keep trying. Right. I'm going to do the alcohol. <laughs> oh. When all else fails, do the alcohol. Oh, gosh. I think if you're going to make a mould, make it so that you can actually unmould it, people. Like, seriously, dude. I guess you just need to, like, you know, break the surface tension. I'm just kind of rubbing the alcohol around. I guess you're going to need to break the surface tension of that silicone. All right. Oh, this is a workout. Now, it should. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. I just had a baby. Look! <laughs> oh, wow! 
Oh, now, all right, now I have to worry about that head. And like I said, I did hear a crack. Well, that actually came out quite easily. Why didn't I just do that at the beginning? Oh my gosh, all right, well, you know, you always learn from me, don't you? I, I like I said, I always do things the hard way and you learn from me, so use the alcohol. <laughs> I didn't think I would, but all right, now, how am I gonna get this out? How am I gonna, I love that, I love that pink. <laughs> it's so snail-like. Uh. Oh, look, that's the one that snapped off. I can see it in there. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to get it out because I can. I can glue it back. It's all right. I can glue it back. It's just a matter of. <laughs> it's just a matter of trying to get it out now. Where is it? Oh. oh. Oh, oh dear. It, um, <laughs> the resin didn't go all the way in. Bit of a fail, but look, we can, he can have one. I'm going to, I'm going to glue it back on. Which way does it go? Not that way. There, it goes there. I can feel it goes there. I'm going to glue it back on. Oh, that's disappointing, isn't it? Like when I was poking the um, toothpick down, I just obviously didn't get it all, you know, and there was a bit of a bubble. But look, I, I will fix it. I will. Because, you know what I can do? That's one that's a bit hard there. Um, and I've done this before. You know when you're, work, you're working with resin, okay, and you've got... A little bit left in your cup don't throw it away wait until wait until it goes quite hard pick a little bit up um, I'm gonna put some more of these in it I'm gonna roll it into a little ball and I'm just gonna stick it back on okay so don't stress I'm not stressing it'll be all right I, I can fix it I can I've fixed things before and um, I can do it again, so don't worry. Uh, I'm all right. I'm not going to go and have a nervous breakdown or go into the other room and cry or anything, but I will. I can fix it. So once I have fixed it, I will show you the, the finished product. But for now, let's just glue that on and we'll have a look. Let me get my step. Okay. Deep breath. I've calmed down. <laughs> that was traumatic, you guys. That was traumatic. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, what's going on here? Got a little bit of, a little bit that's still a bit soft. This better shape that again. Must have knocked it. It's all right. I'm just see. It's at that tacky stage where you can. Um, like heat it and then just smooth it off. Pop a little bit of alcohol on your finger and just kind of put it in the shape that you want it. This is what I'm, um, I'll do this um, with the, the top bit there. I didn't realize that hadn't quite set there so a little bit of alcohol on your fingers so it doesn't stick. And it's soft enough it's still pliable you can you can put it back into its shape so all right let's look at the snail let's look at the snail I should, oh gosh don't fall off it's only just glued now what do you think look at it oh I do love it <laughs> even though it was difficult oh it was difficult it was difficult I think next time, I, look, I don't know if putting little beads in here brought much to the party. Um, I don't know. You, you tell me. Would it have been better just to poke a little bit of the same pink dust into those? You know, then I wouldn't have, I guess then I wouldn't have had the issues with 
um, the bubbles trying to get into all the little balls and, and things. All right, here we go. I've stuck his little other antenna back on and I'll do a quick little pan around but I will do a nice little photo shoot a bit later. I just wanted to show you the finished product. I'm 99% happy with him. <laughs> it's just that. Well, 98 because that bit's missing and that bit broke off, so it loses two points for that. But yeah, it's really pretty. A lot of work. Turn him around. There we go. All right, so that is my giant snail. And no doubt I will be doing more because I've got more things that I wanna put in the, in the back there in the shell. I mean, it would be nice just to put shells in the shell too, wouldn't it? <laughs> so it's actually really like, look at this, see that there? I've got one big bead that's actually sat in right in the middle. It's got a tiny little swirl there as well. So. I mean, I didn't do that on purpose, but it's just amazing how it turned out. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to go. I think I need a, a drink after that. That was awfully stressful. I hope you guys weren't too stressed. But, um, yeah, you know, it's always fun and games on my channel. <laughs> we live and learn, don't we? All right. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, as always, I will see you again real soon for the next video. Take care. Love you all. Bye for now. Alrighty, so here is the finished snail. So I managed to roll a little bit of soft resin and stick it back on there. I thought it was looking a little on the plain side. So as you can see, I got my silver pen. Just I used just my you know Deco color silver pen, and I painted his little. Um, antenna are they eyes are they antenna I don't know I kind of think maybe they're eyes and I also did the followed the lines of that gorgeous swirl there so <clears throat> that's what I did and I think it's turned out really really pretty managed to get the little baubles right in there <laughs> nice little close up there so yeah happy with that it was a lot of work, I must say. Um, I kind of think that the feeler type things should have maybe been a little bit thicker. Not necessarily shorter, but a little bit thicker so they didn't just snap off quite so easily. But I think if we just be careful with it, you know, it'll, it'll be all right. There you go. All right, so thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed my little snail video. And uh, I will do another one because there's more things that I want to add into the snail, into the shell. And uh, I will see you again real soon for the next video. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching. Bye for now.